sweetheart waters You walk upon the waters Wherever you will call me Amen, 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 amen. Glory be to God. Um, yes, we welcome um, once again. This is um, the, the second part of um, our teaching um, tied to simple strategy to make heaven. We've um, talked on um, part one which is um, who is Jesus and part two what is Jesus purpose on earth that was on the first part of this teaching the first the first video which is on on YouTube and this is the second part of it the conclusion on the teaching topic a simple strategy to make heaven and this third part is topic working with Jesus and I want us to look at the reading from John 3 verse 3 which says Jesus answered and said unto him verily verily I say unto you I say unto thee, except a man being born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The, 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 the title of this teaching is a simple way to make heaven. Heaven is the kingdom of God. Okay? And Jesus is saying here, he said, Verily, verily, I said unto thee, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That is the King James Version. Let me give you the amplified version. He said, Jesus said unto him, I assure you, you must solemnly say to you, unless a person is born again, okay, reborn, from the above spiritually transformed renewed sanctified he cannot ever see and experience the kingdom of god listen my brethren you see i come to you today as a prophet of god to tell you this is the only way to heaven can prophesy a million pounds to you, you will be happy. You know, prophesy healing to you, you will be happy. But this is a prophecy to heaven. It's written in the Bible. There is a significant part there in this Amplified. When you hear the word, a man being born again. Imagine you've been born 40 years ago, 50 years ago. But somebody is telling you now, you have to be born again. You have to think it. How will you be born again? And this is what they explain on the Amplified, on, on the Amplified Bible. He said, Reborn of the above. This is the above, which is you are born as a human being. Now you have to be reborn. He said, Except a man is being reborn spiritually, transformed, renewed, sanctified, he cannot ever see and experience it, the kingdom of God meaning you cannot go to the kingdom of God with this body basically it, it, it is a spiritual thing it is a supernatural thing and you have to be in the supernatural league you have to be in the supernatural club I want to put it to your understanding because I, you don't expect me to come and, you know, teach you or preach to you the way my fathers would have preached to you. I will preach to you as my generation. That's why God brought me here. 
to tell you these things. For you to be the league, to be in the league of heaven, to be in the club of heaven, the association of heaven, the group of people going to heaven, you have to be spiritually transformed. You have to be reborn again. You have to be spiritually transformed. Meaning, you have to awaken your spiritual life. It's not something you do physically. It's not, you cannot go into heaven physically. Amen. Amen. That's why when Jesus Christ came to earth, he came as a human form and he was crucified and he rose again and he went to heaven. Why? Because the flesh was being crucified. But he arose because he conquered death. I will explain it further to you. Still in that John 3, verse 3, I want to take it down to 8 a little bit so you can actually understand, you can really understand what we are saying. How will you be born again? How will you be spiritually transformed? Because this is very important. Imagine all your, all, your, all your years on earth. You've been Christian. And it's just wasted at the end. Because you cannot make heaven. You didn't really understand this part. Because it's something you have to understand. It's something you have to understand. Being Christian here on earth. The, 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 the profit of being a Christian. Is to make heaven. So your goals. Should be to make heaven. So if you are not chasing how to make heaven from today as a Christian, then look at yourself, look around you. What exactly are you doing? And the only way for you to make heaven is what I come to tell you today. Being sent by God. You have to be spiritually transformed. You have to be reborn again. I will go further to fourth. I want to explain a little story to you so you understand how it's like to be born again. In John 3, verse 4, Nicodemus said unto him, Nicodemus in the Bible said unto Jesus, How can a man be born when he is old? He cannot enter his mother's womb a second time and be born. Can he? Jesus answered, I assure you, and most solemnly, say to you unless one is born of water and of spirit he cannot ever they are always using this word in the amplified bible he cannot ever enter the kingdom of god that which is born of flesh is flesh the physical is merely physical and that which is born of spirit is spirit do not be surprised that i have told you you must be born again reborn from the above spiritually transformed renewed sanctified the wind blows where it wishes and you hear its sound but you do not know where he's coming from and where he's going. So it is with everyone who is born of the what? Spirit. Listen, it is clear, my brothers and my sisters. You have to be born of water. You have to be born of the Spirit. I just want to put it into practical terms for you so you really understand this. I don't want to preach like my fathers or you know people before us this is our generation because you have to understand this you have to get this you boys on the high street you postcode boys killing yourself over there wherever you are doing gangs you have to hear this you have to be born in spirit first of all you have to be born of water and spirit i want to tell you a secret today the greatest power you can find on earth is in Christianity. 
I want to put it to the terms of this generation. For those that think being in confraternity or being in fraternity or being in some certain groups make them powerful. Listen, the biggest group and the biggest fraternity, confraternity or the biggest organization and the most powerful organization you can be on earth is Christianity. The power is there because it's written here. Because once you are born through water and spirit, it's like the in the in the worldly sense it's like the initiation process for being a christian it's like the initiation process and once you've been born of water you've been baptized of water you sanctify yourself then you fellowship then god will not descend the the, the gift of the spirit on you do you know what the gift of the spirit is when the world was created in gen in genesis it was god and the, and, and the holy ghost when he said, let there be light, it is the Holy Ghost that goes and let there be light. And there was light. It is the Holy Ghost. So once you've been baptized as a Christian and fellowship in spirit and in truth, then God will not descend the gift of the Holy Spirit in you, the gift of that same Holy Ghost. That same Holy Ghost, he will descend it on you. Then you will not be transformed spiritually automatically you have that power whatever you say shall come to light can you imagine how powerful you will be as a christian when you have the gift of the holy ghost in you listen these things i'm telling you they are real i am not joking they are real that's why i'm here today i'm here to tell you this i'll prove it to you let's go to act chapter 2 verse 38 is in the bible still in as much as you can it's physical as well and spiritual but it's in the Bible. It says in Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto, unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Listen, my brothers and my sisters. You want to go into heaven. You want, I'm showing you the example, a simple strategy to go to heaven. First, you have to align yourself with Jesus Christ. You have to align yourself with Jesus Christ. You have to follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ because that is the sure way to heaven. Okay? You have to align with Jesus Christ because it's the sure way to heaven. Now, Jesus Christ is telling you, in order for you to align yourself with me, you have to be born again. You have to be born again. You have to be baptized with water. You have to be born of water and of spirit. Because by the time you baptize with, with water, and you pray for forgiveness of sins, then automatically you create a space in you for the Holy Ghost. To come and dwell and as being baptized as a christian then you will be you will be blessed with the gift of the holy ghost listen that same holy ghost i'm telling you is the one god in heaven used to create the heaven and earth that same holy ghost is the one that went into mary and become jesus in the physical form listen the i, I, I will tell you again the most powerful organization, the most powerful group you must be, you can be on earth is Christianity. It's powerful and it's real. It's real. It's powerful. I'm here to tell you today as a prophet of God. Be a Christian today, a true Christian. You will never regret and you will make heaven as long as you follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ. As you are under the influence of my voice if you think you don't you don't know how to go about this you've not been guided properly because listen i am here for a reason you can contact me you can contact me you can contact me look for a way to contact me divine purpose assignment we are on instagram we are on facebook we are everywhere contact me i can be your mentor i can show you these things practically so you can benefit from being a Christian and know the, the, the right way to follow.
know the right way to follow. And as I speak to you today, if you hear my voice and it's making sense to you, listen, it's your duty to let the next man know. Because God wants each and every one to hear this message. That's why I am here today. He wants each and every one of us as the sons and daughters of God to hear this message. So if you hear this message and it makes sense to you, share this video. Share this video. Share this video. Use it to encourage a brother. Use it to encourage a sister. Let them see the light. This is the light. This is like a secret in Christianity. You don't hear easily. This is not a situation of come and make money. Come and do this. Let me do it. But this is more than you prophesying a million pounds to you. What is the point you having a million pounds and you can't make heaven at the end of the day when Jesus comes? So I'm telling you, my brother, this is very important. Being a Christian, you must understand this. In order for you to go into heaven by walking with Jesus, you have to be born again. You have to be transformed in spirit. The way your physical body is active, your spiritual life should be active like this as well. You should know what is going on in the spiritual realm. Because that is where you will align in order for you to go to heaven. Because this physical body don't go to heaven. It's your spiritual being, your spiritual man that will fellowship in heaven. So you need to understand these things. You have to be born again and you have to be transformed in spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's move further because I don't want this video to be too long. Let's move further. In order for you to, to you know to walk with Jesus, we are still on that on that on that on, on, on that on that path. You know, walking with Jesus to make heaven. Walking with Jesus to make heaven. Because this teaching is all about you making heaven. You need to understand how to make heaven. It's very important as a Christian. It's very important. You need to understand how to make heaven. It's very, very important. I'm telling you today. And making heaven, you have to be, you have to be born again. You have to be renewed in your spirit. Your spirit needs to be transformed and you have to be sanctified. Hallelujah. Let's go further. Let's read second, um, um, John 2 verse 6. Therefore, as you receive Christ Jesus, the Lord, walk in union with him. Reflecting these characters in these things you do and say, living lives that leads others away from sins. Hallelujah. I will read it again. He said in Second John, sorry, he said in John chapter 2 verse 6, Therefore I say to you, if you receive Jesus Christ, the Lord, walk with him. Reflect his characters in all things you do. And say, live in your life that will lead others. Hallelujah. By walking with Jesus, you should be showing example. Just like Jesus Christ did. He's here on earth to show us example. So as you, as you want to walk with Jesus in order to, you know, to, to, to achieve heaven, in order to, to go to heaven, you have to live your life in a way and manner that will, 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 will show example to the next brother next close to you, the next sister close to you. You won't say you are a Christian and you are living a deceitful life. You're living a double life. You are a Christian and the next man close to you cannot, cannot look at you and, and see something that will encourage him to be a Christian. No. As a Christian, you need to live a life that we encourage others, just like Jesus Christ did. People make up their minds to go to church and they get to church. While in church, a fellow Christian will make them discouraged and they will backslide from church. Jesus Christ is, 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 is preaching against that. That if you will walk with me in order to make heaven, you have to live a life as an example as well just like he just like he has done you have to live a life as an example hallelujah hallelujah and he said again in his word in 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 in, in john 5 24 to 25 he says i assure you 
and most solemnly say to you, the person who hear my word, the one who heed my message, and believe and trust in him who sent me as possess now eternal life. That is eternal life actually begins. Hallelujah. Hallel I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. He's saying here that the one who believe in him, who trusts in his word, this word, I, these things he came to, to add to do, to tell you and I about God and show us his way. If you believe in him and you trust in him, you will have eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am here today to encourage you. It is, it is very good to understand this, 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 this part of this teaching. It is very good for you to understand it. First of all, you have to be born of water. I will explain it again. You have to be born of water. When you are born of water, which is the baptism, then, you, then the Holy Ghost will not come on you. Because when you baptize, you, 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 you pray for forgiveness of sins and you fellowship with God. And the Holy Ghost will come, will descend on you. And we call that, that is the gift of the, of the, gift of the Holy Ghost. And when that descends on you, because when you baptize, you create a space. You sanctify yourself, you make yourself holy. Then the Holy Ghost comes in. When it comes in, automatically that quickens your spiritual life. That transforms you spiritually. So when you keep living righteously, holy, since you have the Holy Ghost in you, it is that holy being in you. At the end of the day, we go to heaven to meet thy master. It's very simple, my brothers and my sisters. Just walk with Jesus. Walk with Jesus. Play this video over and over again to understand what I'm saying. I come to tell you this. This is the best prophecy and the best miracle you can get. I'm telling you today. As a prophet of God. What is the point being a Christian and you can't make heaven at the end? It is very important you understand what I'm saying. And I encourage you, sharing this video is a way of evangelizing as well. It's a way of showing example to other people. Because this word, people need to hear this word. They need to understand. People, I, I hear people, they say, men of God these days don't preach. I am not here to judge, but I'm here to, to, to tell you what God sent me to do. Men of God don't preach the truth anymore. This is the truth. Here you are. This is the truth in front of you. As a Christian, what you need to do, share it to your brother, share it to your family. Encourage them to understand the process of going to heaven is very important. They need to understand these things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I give God all the glory. I give God all the glory. Like I said, today, today, today teaching is just going to be brief. Because I want this video to be brief and, 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 and understandable so that, you know, you can easily pass it around and encourage your, own, your family to, to listen to the word of God. The simple, simple strategy to go to heaven is very simple. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Be baptized with water. The Holy Spirit descend on you. While you fellowship with God, you hear the word of God. They give you the gift of the Spirit. Then you start living in it. You start showing good example to your brothers and your sisters. You follow the footstep of Jesus. I can assure you, you will make heaven. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. I, 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 I encourage you today, share this video around. Share this video. Everyone needs to hear about Jesus. And, and you know, I will see you next again. I have very, very important things lined up. This is the beginning. God want me to make you understand this part. So many, so many, so many things is coming. Prophecies, healing, deliverance. You know, they are coming. Just, just subscribe to the YouTube channel. So while these videos are coming out, you will be tuned to us and you will know when we're going to be having a live program. So you can be with the live program so you can get your own prophecy, your own healing, your own deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Stay blessed. Until I see you again, I remember Prophet Itwa. Love you.